So we're calling this piece Holly the Lion Slayer. Not lion, line. Line, L-I-N-E. Holly the Lion Slayer or why it's not good to have all your eggs in one basket. Oh, the abuse of it. Now, I gave Holly this nickname and she is going to have to admit that it was a well-earned nickname. Like, she deserved this nickname um, because Holly has killed more lions probably than anyone else. And, and explain what a lion is for people who okay. don't read Harlequin. So, um, category romance, Harlequin and Silhouette have different lines, or they had different lines before Holly killed so many of them. So uh, long. So long. <laughs> I don't think it was ever the last book in any line. That doesn't mean you didn't kill them. It does. Wherever she would go. In fact, I, I, I specifically told her to never write for Super. And now, do you know what, Holly? June, this month. Today is June 1st. Yes. And this is the last month for Super Romance. It, it's, oh, it's I don't think I do that. Yeah, it's officially, officially dead now it took a long time that one took a long time to die but but so anyway harlequin had all these different lines and they still do they still do just not the ones that we've killed killed because so they're dead they're dead um but so so they would have harlequin <laughs> super romance which is what i wrote for and which holly did write for but um, i didn't kill i mean this is i haven't written for did. them for two years so well but still. they died on their own so she'll tell you about all the other lines but, that she has but, killed. But the eggs are one basket. So what would happen would be, I would write for Harlequin Duets, and Harlequin Duets was Died. going away. How I killed it. But they started a new comedy line. It was a little more urban, and it was going to be called Harlequin Flipside. Holly, will you write for that? Sure, I will. I, I had to change slightly, but not much. And So that worked. It's still a romance when it died. Um, they try Harlequin back then would try a lot of different things. It was sort of the spaghetti against the wall. If a line took off, they'd stick with it. If it didn't, it wouldn't. Which makes sense. I mean, it's a business and right. that's what that's all about. And I was fortunate in that I enjoyed the challenge of writing something a little different. Um, I still do. If you read my books and if you don't, I hope you start and read Susan's too. Yes. This, these are promo in case you didn't get it, but you're also road tripping with us. Um, but I am currently writing still romantic comedy. I'm doing cozy mysteries because I kill people now. But I also am doing more emotional, bigger stories, which is a gift which is I what got I, from Super. Which And which is what I have always written, is those bigger, more emotional stories. And I think what what has worked well for me in writing across all these different lines and these different types, if you read my books, I would hope that if you picked up a comedy and then picked up, I call them Romance Plus, because they are really a woman's journey with a romance in it. So if you pick up one of those more emotional Romance Plus books, I would hope you'd see shades of my comedic roots in it that I believe if I'm making you cry, I should also give you a chuckle now and then. Absolutely. Um, when I'm killing people, they're all comedy. So hopefully you're chuckling a little because I only kill people that need to be dead. And so the murderer is generally somebody who really needed to go to jail anyways. It, it's, you know, I try to be really considerate with my deaths. So, but all those different lines I wrote for really gave me this broad respect for all the different types of romance. And I know, and, and we still hear people make cracks about romance, and it's because I really don't think they've ever read a romance. Probably not. That, I think that's probably the case uh, for a lot of people who, who mock them. But all kidding aside, <laughs> the, the, point, the point was that having something else in your quiver will, will, will make you much more... Um, adaptable and and ultimately more successful um if you if you can roll with the punches because the only thing that we can guarantee you in the writing industry is that things are going to change yeah oh yeah it changes and it changes and it changes and sometimes it feels like it changes every five minutes so you have got to be adaptable you've got to be flexible You've got to kind of roll with the punches and, and be ready to move ahead in a different direction um, 
as need be. And at its core, I don't care if I'm writing a mystery or a comedy or a romance plus book. I there's still stories that appeal to me. If, if not, I wouldn't write them. And I think you still see my voice. That there's no bigger compliment for me as a writer when somebody said I read whatever, and you sound just like you. Yeah, that is a compliment. I think when people meet us, they'll say, like, your books sound like you talk. Well, good. That means my voice is very authentic and it is me. Um, but, you know, if you want to know what's going to change next, find out what line Holly's ready for now. Oh, that's harsh. And she's avoid, so, she's and so And avoid mean. that one. Yes, okay? and I want to see comments under this video that says, Susan, you're so mean to Holly. She's very put upon. Yes. Yeah, she looks like she's very put upon, doesn't she? <laughs> My spirits are crushed. <laughs> she looks like she's crushed. Anyway, so that's the story of Holly the Lion Killer and telling you why you should not put all your eggs in one basket. In writing and in life.